Greetings, Carfanag. So I recently got water inside my cabin because I had a blocked water drain port. So to help you guys, I'm going to show you how to clear up every single water drain port on the Porsche Cayenne 955, 957, and 958 generations. This should also apply to a Volkswagen Touareg. So first, I'm going to show you the main water drain ports that get clogged on this car and is located in the front portion of the vehicle. On both firewalls, you have some drain ports, and I'll show you how to get access to those and how to clear them out. You just have to peel back the wheel liner right here. It's only held on by a few T25 screws. You have one little plastic nut you have to remove up here. And we should now be able to peel this back just enough to be able to get access to the little plug over here. All right, now if you stick your hand through You'll definitely feel the plug. And then what you want to do is just pull that out, like so. We have the drain port here that's designed to keep things from getting up into the front cowl. However, as you can see here, it's pinched off. So as leaves and other stuff get in here, it's going to keep water from flowing out. And this can cause water back into your cabin. We're just going to snip off the tip. This is going to give us a bigger opening and prevent the port from getting clogged. All right, and as you can see here, we have a much bigger opening, which is going to prevent things from getting clogged up in here. And while you have the drain plug off, go ahead and take a look at the hole and try to clear out the port. As you can see in my prior video, I was able to get a lot of leaves and debris out of the front cowls over here, which was creating some blockage. And while you're at it, you can also clear out this cowl area by the windshield. You just need to take off a few clips. And what you'll probably find here are leaves and debris, so you just want to clean this out as well, just to prevent water from going into the wrong places. All right, now let's go ahead and put the drain plug back in, and you just want to repeat this on the other side of the vehicle as well. Moving on to the side of the vehicle, you have a drain port on each side of the vehicle on the bottom. As you can see here, there's a small little hole. Just use a small screwdriver to make sure this is not obstructed. If it is, just make sure you can poke through it without messing up the grommet itself, and just try to clear it out as best as you can. Moving to the back of the vehicle here, we have a drain port on each side. You're going to have to peel back the fender liner over here. Let me show you what you're going to need to do. You're going to start by removing a few T25 screws to get access to the drain port. Now we can see the rear drain over here, and it's the same situation as the other ones. The tip is pinched off, so what you want to do is take a pair of scissors and just snip the tip off, and this is going to give it a bigger opening and prevent it from getting clogged. Next we're going to move to the rear hatch, and you'll see on each side of the hatch you have this little port over here. Just go ahead and take a small screwdriver and make sure that when you press down on it, there's a little valve in there that can open and close, and as long as you can do that, it should be good to go. However, if it's not moving freely, you can pull this little port out and clean it from both sides and then reinsert it whenever you're done. And now moving on to the sunroof. The sunroof actually has four drains, one in each corner, two go to the front, and two go to the rear. For the rear sunroof drains, we've fortunately taken care of those by taking care of those rear cowl drains. By cutting that tip, we're going to allow water from the sunroof to drain to the rear. Now let's talk about how we clear out the front sunroof drain ports. So we're going to start with the passenger side. You want to just remove the one T20 torque screw and then that allows you to remove this plastic panel over here. Disconnect the clips and move the panel out of the way. All right, so ready for the mythical sunroof drain. It is right here. Right there. So let's go ahead and pull this out and take a look at it. All right, so my port over here, I did cut the tip off so it's bigger than normal, but if you look at yours and it hasn't been modified, it's going to have a really tight pinch on the end. Just take some scissors, snip it off, that's gonna give it a bigger opening. And this part is extremely important. When you put the port back into the firewall, you need to make sure it's seated 100% properly. When you push it in, you should have a hard time pulling it out. If it comes out really easily, that means you didn't seat the port directly into the firewall all the way. Now, I can't stress enough, make sure it's good to go because if it's not, water's just gonna drain into your foot wells because you didn't push it in all the way and it's not secure. So be sure to do that. While you're in the passenger side foot well, you wanna take care of the AC EVAP drain. Grab this rubber piece over here and pull it off. 
If you look at mine, it's already been modified. There's normally a rubber flap on the end of it, and this right here can get clogged over time. Just grab the rubber flap, rip it off, and then you can reinstall your drain port. And just like your prior drain, make sure that this is seated 100% flush against the firewall and that it's making a tight seal, or else you can get water into your cabin. So be sure to do that. And the final drain we need to modify is the front sunroof drain on the left-hand side of the vehicle. Go to the left-hand side footwell, and it's located in the corner, very similar to the other side. Just move the insulation around here, and you can find it. Then when you pull it out, just take care of it, and then put it back in, just like you did on the other side. Now we've taken care of the front sunroof drain port so they won't get clogged in the future. However, if your car is like mine, they might already be clogged. Let me show you how to unclog your sunroof drain ports. So to clear out the sunroof drain, what you want to do is get some hot water and add some dishwashing soap as a degreaser. And we're going to pour it into the drain, which is located over here. And you only want to do a little bit at a time. You want to make sure all the water you're pouring goes straight into that drain hole. If not, if it goes to the wrong hole, it can actually flow down your headliner and then that water can get into your interior. So let me show you guys where the drain is. If you look at this corner, right where the sunroof starts to curve, it's exactly right here. So if you push this down, you can see the drain hole. And then you want to take just a little bit of water and in some type of container that you can easily pour it. Then just put it right here and then pour it straight through. So before, when trying to clear this out with just water, it would not drain. Using the soapy hot water, it definitely seems to break up that dirt and allow the water to clear the actual drain tube. Well, there you have it, Car Fanatics. This is how you clear all the water drains on a Porsche Cayenne and Volkswagen Touareg. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Leave me comments or questions below and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you're notified each time I upload a new video. Also check out www.ecarguides.com to find more Porsche DIY content. Thanks for watching Carfinex.